Hello everybody, welcome back. We're joined by the lovely Miss Michelle. Hello everyone. And we're in Chamberlain, this time in Ahonia Terra, looking at anomalies I featured some time ago. However, I've done new close-ups using Gigapixel AI. Check out the awesome detail in these photographs coming up. The high-rise photograph we're analysing is called Sand Dunes, acquired on the 17th of November 2007 at 25.1 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing images cropped from this huge JP2 black and white map projected file over 1.2 gigabytes in size. And there's a look at the low res black and white and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these white specks that litter this area. So it's located here to the western edge of Ionia Terra near Chamberlain, down here to the bottom right. This is roughly at 63 degrees, 3 minutes south, 131 degrees, 41 minutes west. And there's the first anomaly, folks. The slot is approximately 3.3 meters wide. Check this out. This was done using PhotoZoom Pro ages ago when I first discovered this. Look at the astounding detail that we have on the opening there, folks. Also, it looks like this part, Michelle and I had a look at this. It looks like that part bent up or bent in. It's definitely over the bottom part. If you look at the lines, and then this shadow is very strange. It doesn't match the shape of this object. It's sort of rounded, but then this is like 90 degree angles to it. Let's have a chat in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Why is this shadow so weird? Surely it should be running along this line. Otherwise this thing's bent in ways we can't tell because it's taken from top down. And then we're looking at that little block or item there, folks. And uh, reveals this sort of border along the edge. And then the two sort of rounded parts parallel to one another on the inside. This is also a rather odd thing. And we're looking at another one of these strange obelisk, almost sundial-like anomalies pointing up and it's approximately 3 meters tall given the angle of the sun. Check out the detail again. Very smooth, flat surfaces and it's got like 90 degree angles to it. Definitely sticking up out of the surface. Almost perpendicular, I'd say. We're looking at the item there. It looks almost like a megalithic block or maybe even something that consists out of metal. Very bright, got smooth surfaces to it, slightly rounded, and it's also got this bevel running along the right hand side. Check this out. Very metallic in nature, possibly, who knows, folks? Then another one of these partial hexagon shaped objects. I've shown you a couple of those in the past as well. It's also a very common design feature on Mars. Well, one, two, three, four of the sides visible there. It's almost like a tombstone lying on its side. Very strange. We're looking at the items there, and uh, could this be sheet metal? Look at the way it's bent. Is this covering an opening, perhaps? So, very metallic looking in nature. This bend to it. Hold on to your seat belts, folks. We're shooting down to Ionia Terra. And uh, we've got Chamberlain located here to the bottom right. 
There's a look at the anomalies I previously featured using Photo Zoom Pro for the close ups. I'm sure you'll agree with me. The new details that pop out of the screen are amazing. And uh, be sure to tune in in the future. I'll definitely be doing a lot more of these new close ups. And then let's shoot off to the east to this site. It's a zoom out a bit. So it's about 140 kilometers to the east. And have a look at these. So check these out, folks. It looks like two square sheet metal bases with these funny objects placed on top. It's very strange. Maybe I'll do this one next. And then the customary larger parts with these smaller objects in their centers. That concludes this episode of Mars Anomalies. Thank you for watching. Michelle and I will join in the next one real soon. Bye everyone. Ciao for now.